<clears throat> hey everybody it's joy packard and um i know many of you were asking for an update so i thought i would give you one i uh we're still in san antonio my husband and my son are back in houston on rescue team and have actually rescued i think they told me by now 13 or 14 people uh not really sure but <clears throat> i am uh can't see because it's the glare there but um I finally got my van back uh, on the way here, on the way from um, Houston to San Antonio. I hit a, uh, I was driving on the road. Hey, Jessa, we're okay. I'm going to give you my a report right here on live Facebook. So on the way home from Houston, on the way from Houston to San Antonio, there was a car in front of me. And then when it moved, there were these orange cones that I thought were like a soccer cone that was kind of like soft, but obviously it wasn't. It was a hurricane cone. It was metal. And um, it went under, I tried to straddle it because it was one of those things where um, I couldn't move, you know, left or right. And so the bottom of my van just scraped it and um, took off my radiator, my hose, all this kind of stuff. Anyway, that's the least of our problems, right? Uh, $1,500 worth of damage, but there's so many, so many that, um, that are, are in so much more bad condition. So... I'm not even going to complain about my van, but that's what I'm doing right now. I'm picking it up. So um, we are still in San Antonio. My husband and my uh, well, my oldest son are in Houston on rescue team. They are coordinating routes for people to get rescued. Um, super sad. Um, you know, we'll talk about Houston in a minute, but um, my husband's hometown of Vider last night, uh, I'm, I'm sure many of you are seeing on TV, that town is two hours east of Houston where my husband grew up. <clears throat> Lots of family there in Vitor, Texas, and um, it's terrible. Many people losing their homes. Um, it's just so devastating and uh, I can't believe what uh, I can't believe what I'm seeing and it's just terrible. And so a lot of our families over there and friends uh, are houses underwater. Um, you know, lost everything. So yeah, Jessa. And so, um, Winnie, Texas, I was looking at, you know, where I raised my kids, the highway was a river. <coughs> anyway, um, it's so heartbreaking, heartbreaking to me to see this. Um, this is where, you know, we, my husband grew up. A lot of his family are there. Um, a lot of them, uh, were pleading on Facebook last night for rescue um, as the water was coming right in their house and I felt so helpless there's nothing we could do and um, you know many people now there stranded without electricity and you know no running water no bathroom situation and it's still raining it's still raining down there and so like I say those who are coming on you know this is Vider Vider Texas where my husband is from and um, many many family members like I say many family and friends that live there are um, their houses are underwater and it's just it's so so terrible um, even though you know we are here in San Antonio safe and dry I'm not able to really sleep still in my, my sickness I'm just trying to get better and it just I don't know I'm just doing a lot of praying and um, and now you know it was going east so you know we have family inviter and those who are watching the news, you know, if you look at the inches of rain, Vider was, Vider was the number one um, city that received 45 inches of rain. And that was this morning or yesterday, and it's still raining. And that's where a lot of our family is. And then I have family in Beaumont and um, Nederland, Port Arthur. <coughs> Some of my husband's clinics are in Port Arthur. And many of those homes are um, flooded. And it's so, so devastating. And so um, we have, like I say, my husband and my son on rescue teams and helping, and they've been able to um, help some people in Vider even with boats to get to safety. And anyway, it's so, so heartbreaking to me as I watch this city, of uh, this city that I've, I've known since I've been married to my husband and, and many, many years and seeing, you know, Vider, Texas on the, on the news. And um, it's... I can't even tell you it's just so heartbreaking and my heart goes out to those who are um, there my cousin uh, that's there his house is flooded 
Um, my warehouse, my Amazon warehouse is there, but um, I'm very blessed that it's still okay and that we're able to move the inventory up. Um, anyway, I'm just still kind of in shock about it. I just can't believe it. Uh, one of my cousins that lives there was basically saying she was right there and looked out the window and that, you know, the rain was okay. And, um, and then 30 minutes later, the water just started rising so quickly. And that's the dangerous thing about flooding is you think you're okay. And then before you know it, you know, the waters are rising and coming in so quickly before you know it. So, um, I'm, I'm just so emotionally drained and so, so sad about it. And, um, I'm so sad for not just my family that's there, but my, my, you know, my friends and just people that we know and not just, not just Vider, you know, Houston and Port Arthur and Beaumont and Corpus Christi. And, you know, we have, my husband has some clinics in Corpus Christi. We don't even know how that is, but, um, anyway, I'm just still in, uh, emotional, just, um, so sad. It's so sad for these people. And, um, it was, it's heartbreaking, like I say, to get on Facebook and see people pleading, you know, for help whenever they're going through that. And so, um, many people who have lived there for years and years and years, Vider, Texas, and you know, that little town is not as, um, ready for, for rains as much as Houston is, you know, I know Houston, you know, we, we, um, <coughs> we, we got f floods and stuff and yes, it's devastating, but you know, like those little towns outside like that, they are not ready for flooding like that. And, um, you know, you're seeing, you know, cars underwater, um, you're seeing, you know, homes, you're seeing people that are trying to save their homes, you know, putting sandbags as best they can, trying to, you know, save their valuables. And um, just watching that is so um, heartbreaking. And so um, as far as our own home, um, we are, um, you know, very blessed um, so far that our house is <coughs> okay. But we, we still have, um, we're still under mandatory evacuation. The, the, uh, the levee is supposed to crest in the next day or two. And there's still a chance of flooding as far as that, you know, overflowing and everything. So we are in the purple zone. So if that levee breaks, then um, there's still chances for water to enter our home. As of now, <coughs> our home is still, um, we're so blessed, like I say, unlike some others in our neighborhood. Um, in the very back of our neighborhood, there's a lot of um, homes that were flooded. Um, there's a lot of uh, people in Houston that, like I say, have lost everything. And I just can't imagine. I, I mean, those of you who are, are, you know, are watching and, you know, to have to leave your home and shut the door and then not know um, what it's going to be like when you get there. It's, it's, it's just um, that feeling, you know, just grabbing what you can to get out and then... Um, uh, shutting the door and securing it the best that you can and not knowing what you're going to come home to. And so many of those are not going to be coming home to anything. And that's what's so heartbreaking to me, you know, seeing people that you know and love and even people that you don't know and love because, you know, there's people out there who are suffering. And here I am, you know, with a $1,500 van problem. Who cares? You know, that's so minute compared to um, everything else that people are are going through and so um, we ask for your continued prayers for all of those affected um, it's just so surreal to me you know to be in, involved in it and yes we are in sunny San Antonio and you know we're, we're, we're safe but I'm thinking about everybody back home and everybody that this storm is affecting all around us and everybody who's lost and who are possibly gonna lose everything and you know I just want you to think about that feeling for just a moment you know um, even the smallest of things that you take for granted, you know, for your light switches to go on, for your bathroom toilets to flush, for you to have food in your fridge that's not spoiling. You know, that's what, I mean, people are losing their homes. They're losing everything. But, you know, through it all, um, we're grateful, right? And we're grateful for our family. And we're grateful that that, um, that part is okay. And so... Um, I am, um, my hearts go out to those who are going through that. And, you know, like I say, we are still so blessed that our home is still okay. 
but we're not out of hot water yet, so we continue to ask for prayers. Um, the river is, there's still a chance for it, the levee to break and crest, and um, we are right there in floods, you know, where we would be flooded. And, <clears throat> but I, I have um, a lot of faith and hope, but even if, you know, if, if things don't go the way that they need to go, then um, we're still very blessed to have everybody evacuated and, and, and everybody good. So, um, that's our report. My son and my husband are still out there with rescue teams helping. Uh, they're actually trying to help our hometown where he grew up in Vider, Texas, which, like I say, those who are coming in late, um, that's the city right now that we're, we're um, looking at our family and our friends who are there and trying the very best we can to rescue and to help. And um, it's so devastating. It's so, so devastating to me. I can't even tell you. Um, I feel like my heart is like falling off, falling out. It's just, it's just, it's a feeling like I've never felt before. I mean, we've been through hurricanes and tornadoes before, but nothing, nothing, nothing like this. And <clears throat> I, um, I, I basically, um, we're, we're still waiting till tomorrow to see, uh, we're under, we're still under mandatory evacuation. We are not. Um, you know, they're telling people not to come home. People are going home and, you know, they don't realize that some of these homes are almost flooded, if not flooded. And every time people are going through the little wakes from, you know, the cars are making it to where people it's getting in people's homes. And so, um, anyway, I, um, this whole thing has just been, um, a living nightmare for the last four days. And I'm just, um, you know, last night, as like I say, I was watching on the news or on my phone, um, watching my husband's hometown just um, being swept up in the waters. It's just so heartbreaking. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's our report for now. I um, I'm waiting to see if you know we can still make it home in the next day or two. But we are not out of the hot waters, even though our house it's sunny back home right now and it's not raining. But the the um, the levee is at I think they said last time was like at fifty six fifty seven, and it can hold at fifty nine. But if it doesn't hold and it comes over, then we are in the line of path the the path of possible flooding in our home. So anyway, um, it's so um, it's 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 a feeling like I've never had before, and I'm ex <coughs> I'm I'm exhausted emotionally, physically, um, but um, I continue to pray and I ask for you all to do the same. You know, there's so many people that need our help and um, that's, if we're not here physically, there in Houston or all the other towns that are needing our help, then we can be there spiritually and, you know, there's ever a time that they need our prayers, it's now. And um, that's what I ask um, for you. Thank you, Daniel. I'm trying. <coughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead back to my sister's and uh, rest a bit, but my van is back in driving order. Um, it's the least of everybody's problems, but um, anyway, I'll give you more of a report. We'll know more in the next day or two if we're able to return home from being mandatory evacuated, but in the meantime, um, we continue to pray and work on the city where Vider, Texas, Beaumont, Port Arthur, all along the coast there is where I grew up, right where I, you know, raised my kids and where I was raised as a kid. And I'm seeing, um, you know, a lot of um, devastation there. So they need our prayers. They need our help. Um, they need um, our support. And so <clears throat> we appreciate you guys. I know um, many of you have been private messaging me and texting me. And it's kind of hard to get back to everybody, so this is how I do it. So if you're ever wondering um, on the reports of what's going on, then you can always um, watch our Facebook Live, you know, to get a report. And so um, that is the latest report for the Packards. Um, we, um, like I say, are, are so sad for our family and friends and Vider that are um, <clears throat> basically losing their homes and a lot of different things that's going on over there. So. In the meantime, um, I'm going to go and try and rest. I, I, I don't sleep very much at night. Um, we are safe, but it's just thinking about, you know, all of our friends and our family that are still back home. And so anyway, those again who are coming on late, we're still under mandatory evacuation. Um, we're waiting to see if the river is going to, um, to crest. It's at 57 feet right now. And, you know, the 
<clears throat> levy holes at 59 so um, it's almost kind of like a false sense of security that we have to be careful about where you know it's sunny and the roads look better and everything but they're basically telling us that you know um, the worst or the worst is yet to come if it happens so we have to um, continue to be patient and to pray and to be strong um, for those around us and for ourselves and so um, I'm hoping that I don't lose my voice in the next two or three days but um, I, uh, I'm very very grateful for our blessings you know our family is safe here we're in San Antonio with my sister and we have a place to stay unlike some people who are having a hard time um, cars are stranded on the roads and things like that so um, I continue to thank you uh, my Facebook family um, for your love and support and your prayers and your messages and everything and this is the easiest way for me to um, give you updates because it's really hard to um, respond to each of you individually but I want you to know that I do appreciate your um, concerns and you know your messages and, and, and your love and prayers um, I feel it I feel it very deeply and so in the meantime that is our report as of now um, thank you Georgie and I will hopefully update my husband has been updating me he's in Houston right now on rescue and <coughs> he's updating he's updating me and uh, we're watching you know our Facebook pages and such and so I'm super proud of them they're exhausted but yet they're over there and there's all these volunteers you know sandbagging and putting you know it on the levee to protect it because there's still a chance for the levee to break like I say and you have the whole community that's over there you know filling the sandbags and everybody just pitching in as a community and it's it's beautiful there's one thing I'll say this before I let you go if there's one thing through all the devastation and the sadness that's going on right now where we are it's a beautiful thing to see the love and the camaraderie of our community and those around us helping helping each other you know giving food doing their time filling sandbags checking on homes making sure everything is okay rescue teams you know it's just like everybody coming together and that's the part through all the devastation that's going on uh, to see because everybody is pulling together and and you know so much love um, that we have witnessed and that that is an amazing thing all right I'm gonna head back before I hit traffic here in San Antonio I have my van back I will update you soon I hope everybody who is still there and who is being affected are staying safe and as dry as you can and we will update you uh, later on take care bye